Okay, here is a quick video just on the absolute basics or simplest way to get started with differential equations to op amp based circuits. Now, if you notice here, I have a an integrator fed back on itself, which leads to this equation, which comes from the differential equation. Well, why did I use the, put the differential equation over here, kind of off to the side? Because in general, we don't use it. And in most of my examples, I've assumed that you've taken this differential equation and put it into um, integral form. And so really, rather than start with a very complex differential equation and try to derive the circuit, you can start with the simplest building block and then start adding things. And so I'm just going to go over some simple building blocks. So in this case, we have an integrator circuit, which is inverting. And then I feed back x back into r. And I'll just get x equals 1 over rc integral of x. All right. And you might get a little confused about how that happens. But the thing is, is there is a delay between this node and, and it getting integrated. So um, it does work. Now, the next thing is, how do I get uh, an integral of itself in a positive format? Well, you just put in an integrating, uh, an inverting op amp configuration right after the inverting integrator. And so when you multiply these functions time each other, you get 1 over R1C1, and the integral is over here, and R3 divided by R2. And if you set those equal to each other, you just get x 1 over r1 c1 integral of x and so really if you need the minus you don't need to add that in inverting amplifier and if you want that plus you add the inverting amplifier let's just add a few more examples here so now you can start to combine blocks where what if i wanted x equals minus 1 over R2 C2 integral of Y and Y uh, minus the integral of X. Well, you just feed the X into the Y and the Y into the X. And in a similar fashion, if I wanted the positive, I would add these inverting amplifiers. And if I wanted to you could say make the math easier or the equation simpler set these equations equal to each other and I would just have x equals 1 over r4 c2 integral of y y r1 c1 integral of x now I haven't talked about the initial conditions all right and I do have examples later on to tell you how to put an initial condition and how sometimes you can really drop some of these op amps but the thing is is you just want to to summarize, start with this. All right, there are other configurations, but uh, at this moment in time, it's best just for you to start with the inverting integrator and then add on. All right, and to review, what would we add on? So, if we want minus one over RC integral of x, we add on a wire. Right, if we want to have a positive integrator, we add on an inverting amplifier and add a wire. If we have two variables, what do we want to do? We add a wire, and in this case, back in on, uh, to each other, feeding each other's uh, input. All right, and if we want to do the same thing but not have an inverted single, we add these wires and these two inverting op amp configurations so really start with this and add on I know the Heinmarsh rolls looks very complex but you can start simple add on and then start working on the R1 C1 constants to to get it to work because you have to scale things but don't try to solve that circuit all at once get your architecture then do the timing and then set your R1s and your C1s and all that. And that's it.